All right, guys, I got a crazy week, so I'm going to do a shorty, and we're going to talk about showing and hiding tracks. All right, so I decided to do this topic after looking at common search terms on YouTube. So hopefully there's some people out there that will find this useful, but let me know in the comments below, as always. So... Here's the idea. We're in Pro Tools. Sometimes tracks can be hidden and sometimes we want to bring those back or we want to hide the tracks just to streamline our workflow. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. So the first thing to know is if you're here in the edit window and you don't have this left hand column open, you can just click this little arrow icon here to open that up. And that's where we're going to see all our tracks, even the hidden ones. So that's really important to know how to do. You can also resize this whole column. You can also disappear it by dragging this all the way out but there's always this little arrow thing that you can click on to open it up. So let's have that open and let's look at hiding tracks. So there are a couple ways you can actually hide a track. So one way is to right click on the track nameplate and then you can just go to hide. You can also make it inactive when you go to hide it, but we're just talking about hiding right now. So you can go to hide a track and it'll hide it that way. Now I'm not gonna see it in my session, either in the mix or the edit window. So that's one way you can do it. Another way you can do it, especially if you're working on a Mac and you don't have right click enabled, is you can hold control and then click and that'll be the same thing as right clicking, right? So you can just control click and then go to hide as well. That's another way you can do it. And along the same lines, if you find the track here on your track list in this left hand column, you can also hold control and then click on the nameplate and you'll get the same uh, menu here. And you can just go to hide and choose it that way. So you'll notice when tracks are hidden, if we don't have this left hand column, we, we don't even see that they're there. We don't even know that they exist, so to speak, unless we remember, right? But when you open this left hand column, you can see that the tracks are here. They're still in the session. They still exist. The only difference is that these circles here are, you know, grayed out. They're darker. They're not, they don't look active, so to speak. So the way that we bring tracks back in when they're hidden is we can just click on these circles and the tracks will come right back in. And that's it. So then another way that we can hide our tracks, you guys might've figured this out already if you, if you don't already know, is you can just click on the circles to hide the tracks. So, you know, you can hide everything except your master fader if you want to. You can hide the master fader as well. You can make it so that nothing is displaying. You can bring in only certain tracks if you want to. This can really help you stay organized. And, you know, when I click to bring these tracks in, I just click once and hold the mouse down and drag, and then I bring them all in at once. And you'll notice even if I have some tracks here that are visible, if I click and drag all the way down, so I'm holding the mouse down this whole time, it doesn't toggle them, it brings them all active there. So you don't have to worry about dragging over the ones that you can see and making them disappear if you're using that click and drag technique here. So that's how that works. So that's basically it, showing and hiding tracks in Pro Tools. It can really help you stay organized and improve your workflow. It's a good thing to know, especially if you accidentally hide something. It's good to know how to bring them back in. I've seen a lot of beginners struggle with that, how to bring a track back once they've hidden it. And I hope someone finds that useful out there. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. As always, like, comment, subscribe. I'd appreciate all of that stuff. And I do have a Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash Noise. And my patrons get access to additional content. We have a Discord server we're hanging out on, stuff like that. I've really been uh, focusing on the Discord server lately with the Patreon. But other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday. And thank you for watching. Okay. I've been waiting forever for acoustic treatment for the space. I mean, I have treatment here. I have my standing bass traps and the attack wall here, and it, it actually sounds pretty good as is, but I've been, and I also have some foam too, some of the, you know, the smaller foam panels that catch uh, upper frequencies really. But I've been waiting for some panels. I ordered some ceiling panels and some other panels, uh, bass traps for the corners of the room too. And it's just, everything's taking forever right now. It's really sad. So I've been waiting for a really long time. I'll keep waiting. It's been over a month, I think, since I placed the order. I'm pretty sure it's been over a month. I hope it shows up eventually. Okay, on to the next thing. Bye, guys.